the crowded skyline to the poor and dangerous outskirts of Sao Paulo. After the economic boom, education is still one of the country's Achilles heels. The gap between public and private schools still remains huge, and only 43% of the population goes on to secondary level. For 13-year-old George, his school in the Jardim Cambara district is much more than a place of learning. This school is very important to me because it helps me during the week. It helps me to build my future and to get an education, to learn to respect people, to go for a job interview in the future and to speak correctly. And it helps my development and my reading and my writing. For some kids, the classroom is their only escape from poverty, but public schools in Brazil have lots of problems, mainly a lack of money and resources. Classrooms are full and teachers are badly paid. Since the military dictatorship of the 1960s, public education has made little progress. Brazil is a very unequal country, which is reflected in education. In political terms, education is still a very recent issue. We've advanced in terms of universal access, but quality is still a big challenge. Like public schools, private schools are very hit and miss. There are very good ones and very bad ones, like in public schools. So there's a challenge for Brazil to further regulate the private sector. Colegio Vartis is ranked as one of the most excellent Brazilian private schools. The monthly fee is around 700 euros. Here you can see teachers are really good, so you can have a very good exchange with them, and you really know what you're learning. This improves confidence. Since last year's protests, the government remains under pressure to tackle the huge inequalities in education. Many want education, not football, to be the number one priority.